Hi, this is Sandy from Scissors in the City. These are the little Halloween treat boxes that we're going to make today. They're a make and take from our September 2021 retreat. So let me set them aside. And these are the items that you're going to need to complete this. You need a scissor, some liquid glue. I used a tweezer. Some regular adhesive, score tape or another strong tape, red line tape would work, a toothpick, and a small piece of paper. And dimensionals. And I used a black Sharpie, although this is not necessary. To begin our Halloween treat box, we're going to start with this black piece. And if you take score tape and place on this position, you don't need a lot. Just enough that it will hold it together when we fold it up. Then if you take a ruler or some sharp edge and put it on these two spots, that's where your score is, you can fold it up. And we're going to do that on all sides. When we do this, it's a nice crisp edge. I'm going to go over here and do the same. And then refold these. Again, just so it's nice and crisp. And I forgot to fold, so I'm going to go back and do that. are done. We're going to take our long sides and press, uh, I guess I need to take the score tape off first. There we go. Okay, take your long sides, press them up, and go over and seal it. And we're going to go to the other end. Press the edges in. Press it down. Take your backing off the score tape and press that down. And again, the next one, take the backing off and press it in. And there's your box. Now we're going to take our adhesive. Run that on the gray piece of paper. 
If you line up the bottom edges of this paper and then center it on your black piece of paper. Press it firmly down. Then we can take some more score tape and put on the bottom edge. I like to use the score tape because it's a little bit stickier, stronger to hold this on your box. Take that off and take our box, lay it in, make sure it gets all the way to the bottom before you straighten your piece up. And then burnish it down. And your little box is done. Now we want to wrap the candy. So in this particular kit, we had two of the same papers. So we're going to do one one way and one the other way. I'm going to look at what I have. I kind of like that little spider there. So I use the purple side at the top. So I want to put the score tape on the stripe side. Just one piece. And then this one are put on the purple side. So I have one of each. Obviously if you want to the same you can do that. Or if your kid has different patterns in there just use what you've got. I put it about centered on the piece of candy. And then I wrap it to the back. When I know where this one is, I'm again going to press it down so that it's a sharp fold there. That will help it from trying to come uh, to try, nah, from it trying to come apart. And I did the same on the other side. So again, take off the score tape, and now I know where it's going to be. Put that edge on first, wrap it, and adhere it. And one of your candies is done. I'm going to do that for the next one, just the same way. All my candy is done. I now have some words. I kind of like hocus pocus this time. So let's just cut it. And I'm not cutting it. I'm just using a scissor. So it's not going to be even. So I purposely did it so that it's smaller on one side. I then have uh, a reverse corner rounder. I'm going to put that in. You can use whatever corners you have or you can even just leave it square. And there's my little shape. And you can either use score tape or adhesive. Try and get that pretty well centered. And now we can set that aside until we've made either our pumpkins or our Mr. Pumpkin Head. This is Mr. Pumpkin Head kit. It also is a Sizzix die, a colorize by Tim Holtz. So in the kit, I get this pack of papers. Go ahead and take them out. And we're going to begin by placing our papers in sort of an order. So we have our man. And 
this is his pants. This is the tops of his pants. These pieces are for the pumpkin head. And then we have his jacket. And then the itsy bitsy pieces. Now to begin with, I found that these little shoes because they're hidden in the box, sort of, I just took a Sharpie and colored them instead of putting them on. You can do it either way. And then this one, I did the edges so that you didn't see the white paper. I just found some of these pieces are so small. Don't forget to do his heels. And this is all going to be covered. That step is done. Next I assembled the clothes. So take his pants, make sure that you've got this piece on so that it fits on top. And taking small dots of your glue just dot the background of the pants. And then you take the other piece and lay them together. The reason I like to do it this way is because you can hold it in your hands easier. Once you get it on the guy, it's not quite as easy to maneuver. So then I did the same thing to the jacket. Now the jacket, when you're doing it, just make sure that your pieces are the right side up. So it's going to go this way and then that'll go on top and this way and this goes on top like so. So I'm going to take the two jacket pieces and again you're going to put the glue on the purple piece because it's smaller. It's a little piece that's hanging there. There we go. So just dot around it. And then place them together. And line up your arm pieces. The other pieces obviously are not shaped quite the same, so to get them lined up. So, and then we're going to do the same to the next piece. There's these little pieces of paper on the edge that from the die cutting. That's what I'm trying to kind of work off here. And dot the back side of this. arms oh, I just worked off those little snippets of paper okay so that's done take this and if you look closely at your man there's a little score line there so you're gonna know where that goes easy way to do it is let's start with his arm because we know exactly where that's gonna have to go and you want to 
line it up so it matches his arm. Side edge. Now we know where this piece is going to go because it's going to lie right tight up against that. And then you're going to make sure his legs of the pants are in the, on him correctly. So, dot the back. And lay that on. Again, making sure that his pants legs are on properly. There's a long piece of paper from the die cut. Now we've got his next arm and our jacket to put on. going to fit just like so. Again, if you pick them up, you can kind of maneuver them a little bit to get them in the right spot. We're going to need some of these pieces out of this little baggie. These white pieces go on his chest here. So lay them out first before you glue them so that you know that you're putting them in the right spot. That one's going to go there and this one's going to go here. Now to do these little bitty pieces, if you take a piece of paper and put a little adhesive on it and then a toothpick will allow you to get just a little bit of glue. It's a little bit of glue, but it's enough to hold it in place. And I'll lay that on there. Take the next one and do the same thing. ready. We have to do our pumpkin. Take your pieces, make sure that, you, that they're going the right direction. See where this is sticking out here? So that means this top piece is upside down or the black piece would be upside down, however you want to do it. That's going to go that way. So this is before we put any adhesive on here. We're making sure our pieces are going the right direction. That looks pretty good. Let's flip it over and see if it fits any better, which it does. That fits, well, maybe not, because look at the nose. doesn't quite fit right. Let's turn it back this way. That's better. So the eyes will match up. Just make sure it fits on there. And we have this itsy bitsy little green piece, which is the stem. And that you got to figure out which way's up to. And that's going to fit on there just like that. So again, take, take just a spot of glue with a toothpick. Put it on there. Can you all see that? And then we're going to put that on here. So that's that. Then we're 
protect the back pumpkin head. Just dot your glue around. And that'll go on there. Again, I like to pick them up so I can move them into the proper place. And then this little guy, if you take a couple dimensionals, few in half. Or if you have the little micro ones, you could use that too. It's not going to take very many dimensionals to hold this little thing in place. going to set right on there. So you only have that little top of his spine to attach it to. I'm going to want him like so. Then we need to add his bow tie. He's little, so let's just do it this way. Now I'm gonna wrap that right so some can use bigger dimensionals now. I'm just gonna run that down the middle of his body. And take those dimensionals off and then attach them to your box. the paper and your candy and your little pumpkin head is done. <laughs>